Disaster is on the horizon for the US economy. Anxiety is on the rise among industry analysts because of what experts are now calling the perfect storm that could result in a disaster among the rank and file of the United States business economy. And I've mentioned several times on this channel that the conditions seem to be right. In fact, perfect for a coming recession. And one of the leading indicators of this is a nearly $9 trillion steadily mounting corporate debt load. You heard that right, $9 trillion with a T dollars of corporate debt here in the United States. Now, what could potentially make this an emergency scenario is a rise in interest rates in combination with a weakening economy. To address this, I'm gonna go over a couple of the key facts about today's economic climate, and I wanna give you my own thoughts about what's really happening here right now. Welcome back to the VIP Financial Ed YouTube channel. It's Matthew, your cash flow coach, bringing you another episode on the financial downturn that may be just around the corner. So is all this doom and gloom? Well, I don't know. I mean, is it time to start liquidating every investment that you have and start building your financial doomsday bunker? Probably not, but to best understand what's really happening in regards to this so-called debt bomb, which is not to be confused with what we call here at VIP debt weapons, one is bad and the others are good, let's get into the facts. First of all, it's important to remind ourselves that on the whole, the United States economy has been getting progressively better year over year since about 2009. So that's almost 10 straight years that things have been fairly smooth sailing. And all things considered, our unemployment rate is as low as it's been in a decade, and the federal interest rates have been under 2% for the same amount of time. In fact, if you were to take a snapshot of the US economy at our current point in time, the case would actually be made that it's looking pretty good. But if that's the case, then why is all of this worry and concern over a potential recession? And why is corporate debt coming into the picture? Well, the truth is the amount of debt that US-based companies take on has always been a key performance indicator of our economy. In order for some businesses to grow into successful contributors on the world stage, debt ends up being a necessity. It's part of the equation. And the problem arises when the ability of a company to actually repay their debt comes into question. And that problem becomes tenfold more critical You know, when an entire nation worth of companies begin to struggle to pay their creditors. And one of the contributors to increasing rates of default on business loans is how much interest the Federal Reserve Bank charges on those loans. And while I mentioned earlier that Fed interest rates have been low over the past few years, they're also increasing with more acceleration every year. In fact, back in 2016, interest rates had risen from a 0.3% to nearly 2% where they are now today. And because this trend isn't showing any sign of stopping, it's actually starting to make US-based companies nervous, especially those that are reliant on recurring sources of funding from debt. It's a fairly simple equation. If business loans are made more expensive, new business growth slows. And when accrued debt becomes even more expensive to carry, those businesses that are over leveraged with debt are gonna start getting understandably scared for their livelihoods. I mean, what this could mean for companies with a lot of debt is default and bankruptcy. And if that happens enough, obviously, the, the macroeconomic needle will start to move in a direction that none of us are gonna to wanna to see. What's more, the US bond market hinges on the ability of these US companies to pay their debts down. So when more and more of them default on their loans, the bond market itself is gonna suffer. And this can have a cascading effect that can reach virtually every corner of the stock market all the way into your 401ks and Vanguard accounts. So that's a pretty big deal. Now, market analysts cited on CNBC recently described the near future as having two possible outcomes. The first is that the US companies very well could be capable of managing their debts without capsizing, even in light of rising interest rates. After all, I mean, we've made it this far since the recession of 2008, and presumably we've learned a lot along the way. For this to happen, U.S. companies are going to have to outperform their international competitors. The second here is obviously going to be less favorable, and that involves the economy beginning a, a de-escalation period or a deceleration. And those U.S. companies that are most prone to this 
debt bomb, as we called it, when it does eventually detonate. Many indicators are gonna to point to the coming 12 to 18 months because that's a crucial time period for the unique situation that we find ourselves in right now. And that means that we really don't have very long to prepare for what's to come. You do not have very long to prepare for what's to come. The decisions that you take here depend on how economically optimistic you are. I personally think that the US-based companies have learned a lot and hopefully have learned enough in the past to make different choices moving forward and avoid some of those same mistakes that were made in 2008. I also think that the leanest, highest performing and most cost conscious businesses are gonna be the ones that are able to stay afloat as the waters get more and more choppy. This boils down to cash flow, folks. When you have cash flow, you're safe. When you don't have cash flow, you're not. Now, do you think that American companies have what it takes to drive forward with innovation? Do they have what it takes to drive forward with new products and services and increased output? Or is it time to start hedging your bets and start divesting into foreign markets? I'd love your comments below. What is it you're doing to prepare for the potential correction or downturn that appears to be on the horizon. For me personally, that meant attacking and eliminating debts with total urgency. And it also meant looking at ways of diversifying revenue streams so that we could cash flow stack and start to grow based on income coming in and minimal output leaving a lot of money left over. Therefore, if anything unexpected happens, which can happen to any of us, we know we're still safe. So what strategies are you taking to make sure that you're safe moving into the next downturn? Look forward to hearing your responses below. Make sure that you're a subscriber to the channel. It's the fastest growing channel on the subjects of credit, accessing capital, and growing your cash flow. You're not gonna wanna miss our videos going into 2019. It's gonna be an unbelievable year, our best yet by far. So make sure that you uh, stick around until we see you on the next one. Make it a great day and take care.